If you don't, go look at it. You see it then. That's, that's that one red, one piece base I built. I used a sled, a router, and this to do the bandsaw and the other work. But yeah. So yeah, I just use what I got. And what's crazy, guys, if y'all understand this whole shot Smith, go on the Facebook marketplace, put you in a thing to, to search for one. Take what back? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's got its own par purpose. I mean, I whole lot rather have a router cut and pick up, and you know, uh, pick up holes and router and cavities in the body than anybody anything else I know of. So, yeah. Now this is an overhead router when I set it up, and it's got that big old bit, and I just feed a neck across it, and it shaves down both sides, and it takes me about eight minutes to shave both sides of the neck, and about twenty to do the transitions on the end, and it's finished. So. Let's see what this is going to look like on a piece of scrap before we put it on that good body. Let's just see what it looks like. that little round over just like that right there is what we're going to get. That'll help make that kind of relieve that edge. So we're going to do that to it. So let's go for it. Not this one. It doesn't need anything. I just got to make sure these screws in the back are adjusted to hold it up off the base plate so it don't well so it can get some air under it. This is the one I'm going to relieve the top edge of. So I'm going to go around here and that's a right hand telecaster so there's the top. Okay. Sometimes you have to check yourself and make sure you're doing the right thing here. Oh. Okay. I'm trying, guys. I'm getting trying to get better here. How about that? Is that better? I hope so. Now I'm just gonna relieve everything till I get to here and till I get to there. So I'm gonna stop it right along there and right along there is where my mark is. So let me. It's always better to give myself a visual here. Thank you. I just try to do what I enjoy doing, guys. And uh, this is what I enjoy doing. And if I have to do it this time of night to do it, then I have to do it. So, uh, oh, let me. Sorry about that. Let me fix your ears right quick. I don't want to do that to you guys. I done it to you a while ago. I don't want to blind. I don't want to deafen y'all again. It's not right. <laughs> okay, that should get you a sound from over there. It won't be so loud when I do this. It won't be right in your face. So let me knock this out and I'll be right around. It shouldn't take a second to go around it.
here to hold it up off of the table. Let me grab some screws. screws in here to hold this off the base over the base so the air can get under. Hey, I got five people in here. That's a like record for me, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I, li I like setting records. I like setting records when all my buddies come in. No doubt about that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm back here. Just back in the center of the room again, you know, fun around. Uh, we got the the bolts on the back for this to sit on so it so the air can suck under the bottom and go around the edges and we had a little problem right there that screw pushed through so we got to work on those two right quick yep we got to fix those let's do that a couple of my screws pushed the push the leg the layers apart a little bit Just loosen them up and run them back in, and that fixes it. All 
All right, one more. Okay, that is that one. Let's see what these look like on this one. They're out. They're awful short. We gotta let these out a little bit. Let me get y'all back in the camera. I'm sorry. Down here where I'm working, that'd be better, wouldn't it? There you go. Now I'm gonna raise these up a little bit because they're a little bit too low, I think. Too look, that's too far. Whoop. be good for now. Now, where we at? Here we go. Okay, I'm back. Y'all see, I'm sweating and it's, it's what, three o'clock in the morning here and it's still hot. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm done. getting ready. I got air pressure ready to go. So we can let this down either way like this. And then the vacuum's on this line right here. So when we get ready, we can turn that on and turn the vacuum on and suck it down. And we got to get this this stuff pretty much set up. I'm gonna take the sander and knock it off there real quick with just a quick. And then once I do that, we can uh, go to work on it. And I think I can just take the hand block and do it. I can see the stuff going on there. There you go. There's there's that kind the you'll see the the bondo on top of that. That's what I'm fixing to level out. So we're gonna work on that right now with this sander. Let's see if we can knock it down and I'm gonna just bring it up here and make it easier for me to work. Thank you. I'm just going yeah, I set y'all the camera up and then I moved it up where you couldn't see that. I know, thank you, right? I might come back down anyway because I can't reach the other end. I'm too darn short. That a bump right there. It's a big one. I'm sorry about that. That's running y'all's ear, ain't it? Sorry about that. I do that stuff, man. I'm I'm learning, guys. That's a mistake. I guess I'm going to climb in there and get the back that quick. And if you're coming in late, whoa. Had a few holes in the platen here for the mold, so I patched them up. Now, now I'm sanding back the bondo that I patched them with. Mm. Don't work with that. Got one little bump right there. I think I can work with that. Ah. Hey, we're up to six. Thank you all. That's the most I ever had. And I appreciate every darn one of you.
If you want to make fun of my southern accent, go right on. I don't care. Uh, hey, thank you, brother, for coming in. Uh, Hazard 6S. Thank you for the said, Discord and being Good night at Hank Bud Beer Mug. And uh, I appreciate it, brother. I do. Uh, appreciate y'all letting me in or accepting me. I really, that really just feels good. I promise you. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do my best to give y'all something to look at. In the morning, get up and see. I'm going to be uh, putting the plastic in here and starting to heat this thing up in about another five minutes. So, yeah, in the morning, though, get up and check it. See what it looks like. I'll have you a picture. I may put one on the Discord, whatever comes out. And I ain't making no guarantees what's coming out of this. First time I ever tried it. So, we're going to see. But I figure we're going to do one Ambrosia and one Telecaster. Hank Bud said, It's great to have another builder on Twitch. Well, I'm glad to be here. Um, I got some, I got a Hank lot of Bud friends that build. said, I'm looking forward to seeing your work. Well, thank you, my man. You know, I got a lot of stuff I've done. Well, let me turn, let me turn these, these papers to the inside where the heat's going to be the best. And it'll heat, it'll make better parts that way. So we're going to put one right there, okay? And... We got to put the other one down this way a little bit. And we're going to bring this one up on top of the air hole so the air hole don't get plugged. Now, the way this works, guys, if y'all can see here, there's a hole right here where the vacuum comes. It's going to pull a vacuum, and I'm going to have this up off of the bottom so the air can pull around it and suck the plastic. And the same air should get over here and pull this one, too, if everything goes well. It's what we're hoping, okay? Um, I'm hoping it gets enough vacuum to go both does to do them both. Uh, maybe I ought to get them a little closer together. Maybe that'll help that happen a little easier. Well, if I do that, I'm, well, that'll be okay. If it's got a funky end right here where they come together, I won't hurt a thing. Um, matter of fact, I could, yeah, let's, let's go there. Now, y'all know, y'all figured out by now, I don't have any clue how this is going to turn out. So, yeah, we're just going to go at it. So, yeah. Whoever's out there, thank you guys for being here. And, uh, we just going to, like I say, run it in there like that and bring it up with the parts in it through the plastic and heat it up and stick it through there and make a part and see what comes out. And all I had was the heavy plastic, which has to be heated up pretty hot. And I'm a little scared I'm going to scorch it, which makes it, well, it's going to be look like a burnt guitar. So, yeah, I didn't really want to do that. So, yeah, let's see what we can do with this. So what kind of, what kind of camera angles I got you guys on? Let me see if I can get you on a better angle. Okay, there's that one, and there's the mold inside of there. That's pretty good. And then I can move this around for you so you get a little better view here as I go. I'm going to pull you back like that so you see. Okay, now. Light controller. Now, we're going to put the plastic inside the machine. And the ones that were here yesterday, I told y'all I was going to stick this with the, the, the wrinkly side up. So when the guitars come out, they're going to be wrinkly on the top. They're going to have a wrinkle finish. Pretty cool looking, I think. We'll see. And if we don't like it, we got enough plastic to do a set of them the other way. If we can get the mold part without tearing it up. So that could be a problem, too. Uh, but y'all just see what we're doing. We're loading a piece of plastic inside the machine. And, whoop, get on the gasket. Uh, Now, we're going to set it just like that, kind of. I got my little stool right here to go up. Can y'all see what's going on, I hope? Uh, that other camera's really right in your way, in it? Well, you probably see. Let me see what that does. Okay, ready? We're going to lock it down. And lock it down. Now, let me get that off of there. It'd be easy if it's not on there, I think. Okay, now. Y'all can see the plastics inside the machine. Now, I'm going to go a little bit to that side. 
I'm over here. Now, what I'm going to do is, we got the plastic inside, we got it locked down. Plastic got the rough side up that we want. I probably need to take the air compressor and blow it off right quick and get the dust off of it. Because I forgot to do that. So let's give it a quick dust. Oh, oh, where's my, hmm. Now, uh, what am I thinking I need? Oh, I know what it is. I don't know if it's back here or not. I got to go search, you guys. I think it's back here in this corner. Ugh. Oh, come on. Coming out. Got to look on the shelf somewhere. Fat boy stuck. Fat boy stuck. Now, what I'm looking for, back guys, is the baby powder. Come on. Hmm. Well, they work without it, but I'd rather have it on there. They got quite a bit of little fine dust on them, so they may be okay. When you're making these things, if you get baby powder on, it makes the mold come off a little easier. And uh, they might not come off as easy as I want, but we'll get them out eventually. So, what we're going to do, we're going to close this heater over the top of it, the plastic hand heater is over the top. <clears throat> then we're going to turn the heater on to put the heat in the plastic and start heating it up. So let's get that on. And then I always like to change the color of the light because, you know, it's kind of hard for it to heat up with blue lights on, so we make the lights like, yeah. Make it look like it's heating, okay? But it is heating up in there. Now, it's putting out some heat. So let me get y'all that camera angle set up where y'all can see here. Uh, there's your heating elements working up in the top. I'm going to take you in for a little shot of that right quick. There you go. See the heating elements up in the top of the machine? And we're going to heat this piece of plastic up to 265 degrees. Somewhere in that neighborhood, and then we're going to make this part. Yes, sir? That's exactly what it is. It's a big toaster. And if I find the thermometer, I'm going to be in really good shape. Oh. <clears throat> That's where it was supposed to be, hanging on that knob right there. Yeah. I mean, we'll heat that plastic up and let it move, and it'll, it'll get... A big swell in it, you know, when it swells up there. So try to get you in a little better angle where you can see a little better on it. When it goes up or down or something. Let's see, which way you want to go. Let's take you up higher, guys. On this little camera, I'm going to get y'all up so y'all can see when the part comes up on the top, see what happens. And we'll see if it works, you know. If it works, it works. Y'all excuse the camera angle there. I'm sorry about that. This is that Amazon tripod, you know, that good one. A good Amazon tripod. Yes, sir.
Want it one more time, get all we can. I'll tell you, I got you up there. Now I'm going to bring you in right here like this. So when that thing comes up, that mold's going to come up right there. Okay? It's going to come up right in there. And it's going to right down on the part. And I got this in here. It's going to kind of be in my way a little bit, but I'll work around it. Okay? But I want y'all to be able to see what happens when it does what it does. Right there on that little camera up on top. And then I'm going to come back around this way. So, okay. I'm going to take this in a little bit, make it a little smaller. And then give it a little bit of that, getting on up out of your way. Okay, how's that, guys? Now, let me put my fancy homemade drawer back in my fancy homemade router table. And we're going to heat this plastic up and see what we get. Now, it's starting to get a little curve to the top of it now. And curl up toward the heat. So it's got a bow in it. If you look in here, you see it bow it up toward the heat. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera in here or not. Uh, yeah, Y'all can see the plastic where it's bowed up in the center, where it's rising up to the heat. And in just a minute, it's going to start going down. That's when the heat's releasing it and getting it loose. And we're going to see what happens. Good or bad, it's different. Whatever comes out of it happens. I might never get them out of the mold. I don't know, but I'll try. I shoot the plastic from the bottom to get my temperatures. One seventy nine and a half. So we're gonna get it on up to about two sixty and try not to scorch it if we can help it. Now it just released and dropped, just saying it. When I looked in it just dropped down and done the release. Now if you want to see a, a video about how this works, uh, on my YouTube, there's one where I go from up there and over there and I got like four angles and when this thing does the part and makes it. So you can see how it does, but it's making a gold prospecting part, not a gold, not one of these, okay? Not a guitar. Look, the 190. We moving. I'm part. Water. You know a real woodworker got a wooden water bottle. Actually you got a aluminum water bottle with a piece of flat vinyl on it, but Two oh six. I'm thinking about cycling the heat, turning it off for a minute, let the heat kind of dwell into it, and then turn it back on again. And maybe that'll help to keep from scorching. So I'm trying to decide on that. This stick stuff, it takes a lot, and I don't you normally run it backwards, and that's what's got me a little worried about it. I'm a little scared I'm going to scorch it. So let's give it about 30 seconds to rest, and then we're going to put a little heat back in it again. I just want to be a little careful with this thing, guys. Now, when I go back, That'll go away ways where you can still see. Let's give this thing about another 10, 15 seconds. We'll start it right back up and let the heat dwell into it. It's still going through the sheet right now, working its way through. Okay, let's put it back on. This is a... Hank asked me a while ago about the, the, the instruction manual. Yeah, it's here. And the, the plans to build it, there. Yeah, just one old crazy man having fun doing what he does. And I've been doing gold for since I was eight years old, gold prospecting stuff, like all that over yonder on the wall. Just kind of burned out, guys. Y'all ever been burned out on something just when you get away from it? I got a thriving business selling stuff, and I just walked away, quit, quit advertising, and don't care because I ain't in the mood to make it. 
Right now, I want to make something for me and do what I want to do. Had a battle with the big C last year, guys. Make you think twice about everything in your life, okay? Just keep on going. Take care of yourself. You 17? We're climbing on it. Yeah, anybody got anything to say? Or y'all just lurk? Is everybody lurking and going to bed? Or is anybody still with you? Hey, thank you, brother. <laughs> well, it's it's a water jug, but it works, you know, and uh, I like it. So I'm glad you're still here with me, though. Appreciate you being here, brother. We're gonna make a part in just about another two or three minutes here. Two twenty-three. It's it's getting close to happening, and uh, when it does, I'll go through the little process over here, going down the line. And the way it works is this. Now, just so I let you know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to turn off the heater. I'm going to pull the heater back off the top. I'm going to come around here and turn this valve and do this and make the mold go up and stretch the plastic. Once it stretches the plastic, then I'm going to turn this valve, and that's going to make the vacuum that sucks it down onto the mold. And if everything works well, that's what happens. And if not, you get to her spot, say bad words. And I shouldn't do that because I don't think I got my thing set for mature. So I probably need to fix that, don't I? Um, I didn't do that. I noticed that earlier. I didn't have it for adult audiences, and I probably should, because every now and then I'm going to probably say something I shouldn't. I'm thinking I like them. That one's solid. That one's solid. Let's go. 2.30. Still good. No scorching yet. Please don't. I'm just hoping we don't get a scorch, guys. I really want a smooth part, you know, with no, no bubbles in it. Yes, sir, we're getting there. Don't leave in a minute now. Getting close. You know, you get to see history or failure. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. You know, this is this is definitely an experiment. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I just realized something. I forgot to hook a couple plants. Man, that's hot. I forgot to clamp clamps on the side. I'm glad I just seen that. Plastic would have probably pulled out of the mold and we'd have lost the whole project. Man. Oh. Maybe that's the only, only bad thing going to happen and we fix it and solve it, okay? So this is like a NASA launch. Yeah, with the wrong guy at the wheel. Y'all see that plastic jiggling? Can you see it? It's just getting soft. You get a temperature check, 243, 248. We're getting up there now. I'm about ready to go. I'm about ready to go for it and see what happens. Come on, darling. Let's go some more. Let's get all we can get. I'm trying to get good heat to make a good solid part cover on there, so we'll never know till we try, right, guys? I'm not sure what's going to happen around the neck pocket. I don't know if it's going to have enough pull to pull in the neck pocket or not because of the, uh, I didn't put any holes in them to pull the air into the neck pocket. But there wasn't really any room to do that. So. I'm going to start back there to the buttons, guys. Y'all ready? Now, I'm going to go ahead and move this camera wire so I don't trip over it and break my neck when I come by. So I'm going to turn off the heat over here. When I turn the heat off, then I'm going to come that way. I'm going to close the heater. 
move the bowl, and we're going to make a part. See what happens. So here we go. One, two, three, and let's pray for the best. Let's go. Fat boy boogie. Y'all see that? Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. It does from here too, brother. We're going to see how it looks in a few minutes. We're going to let it cool to about 150. And then we'll turn the vacuum off, and then we'll lift the mold down, and then we'll try to get the parts out of the inside of there where they're at, because they're in there good. Uh, this may be interesting. They may have to come out with a big old hammer today. There's one. One seventy nine is cooling off pretty quick because the moles were cool. I couldn't believe how it, I just I kept watching it. It just went right into the neck pockets. I mean, just like zoom right in them. I mean, they're not perfect in the neck pocket, but that ain't gonna matter. And I'm just using the top part of it, and I won't be using the neck pocket. I'll be cutting it out anyway. So, yeah, let me uh, see if I can see a little better. Let's see, let's see. There you go, bro. How's that? Can you see them now? I use a uh, commercial vacuum pump that you use to do air conditioning refrigeration work. So it pulls to a 30 inches of vacuum, a complete 30 inch full vacuum like you'd pull an air conditioning system into. And when it does, it pulls that whole tank down there, it's a 100 gallon tank, it pulls that whole tank into that vacuum. And then when I turn this valve, it releases all that vacuum at one time to suck it down. So you couldn't do it. Uh, I've seen people try this with vacuum cleaners. I've seen them try it with two vacuum cleaners. Oh, thank you, brother. But uh, yeah, I, the vacuum is the way to do it if you're going to do it on a commercial scale. I need a bigger vacuum pump because it takes my vacuum pump longer to recover than anything on this system. That's the slowest part. So, uh, like right now, I don't know what it's got sitting on it. It's probably, it's holding about 10 right now because it's still open. And that's, it's got 10 inches of vacuum still pulling on that part right this second. So, it's still sucking it. And every now and then, you can hear it creep. You hear it creep, that's in. Okay, this time to 133. We can turn the vacuum off. Listen to what's going to happen when I turn this off. Boy, that's tight. That makes some tight parts. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is see if it comes down and comes out of it. You know? so, let me get y'all down so you can see here because we ain't going to be no good see up there. Yeah, it's letting loose the vacuum, brother. Losing the vacuum there. So we're going to see if we can get it to come out, Hazard. Hazard, what's your name, brother? I'd love to know. I like to know everybody's name. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, we probably, the molds are going to, the molds are going to stay. I'm pretty sure of that. So they're always going to bring down the flat plate. And then we got to get the molds out, most likely. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I didn't think they were coming out. Now, we're going to try to get them out while they're in the machine. I think that's probably the best way. So we're going to do that. But before I start up there doing this, I'm going to do y'all guys a favor. And uh, 
Uh oh, that came up. My button died. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to turn, turn on, on the microphone, microphone and, and turn off the earbud. Okay? So when I'm whacking it over the top of it, you won't be getting all this straight into your ears. Okay? So try to be a little concerned there. Empty tray. Well, what, yeah. It just come down flat with nothing in it, didn't it? Not looking good. <sighs> Got an idea. You try something. Okay, I was looking for my pry bar to uh, knock them out with. Put my earbud back, that one died. See if this one connects. Yep, there. So we can bring it back. Oh, okay. I'm gonna leave the sound where it is because I'm gonna be banging a while here, okay? Trying to figure out the best way to get them out. The telecaster is moving. The telecaster is moving. The, uh, the Ambrose is not. It does not look like it's moving at all yet. So let's open the machine up, take the plastic out, and just whack it. Get it out here in the yard. Get it out here and where we can get to it. Let's do it this way. Ready? Okay. There they go, guys. We are there. Now we just got to figure out how to get them out of there, okay? So, there comes the fun part. Yeah. Let me turn off that mobile cam. It ain't doing us no good anymore, is it? Okay. Now, let me see if we can get these out of here. This one is still way down in there, but that one has moved a lot. So I'm going to go in here at the neck pocket and try to start moving them and wiggling them. And get them to move if I can. And just see if I got any movement here at all, because that's the loosest place in it. I really don't want to tear my mold up. So I, I mean, my, uh, yeah, my mold up if I can help it.
Switch gears. Come on, baby. coming apart. The mold's coming apart. One, the corner's stuck right there, just bringing the mold, the mold, the mold stuck. So we'd have to rebuild the mold and do another one. So, damaged my mold. Pulled my OSB apart. Probably should have put more screws in it. Or glue, I probably should have glued the layers together. But I normally don't do that on them, so. It's kind of like a one-shot deal to see if it works, you know. Okay, so we got us a Telecaster. Now we're going to get that one apart. Maybe a little more to that. Again, it might come out pretty good with it being that rounded top like it. Oh, boy. Slice my hand, guys. No blood yet. It's coming. It's going to come. Blood's coming. Okay. So I'm just going to stick this right in here like this. Again, like I did the other one. Let's see if I can get a little leverage. I think I'm going to drive it in and get it real deep in there so it'll be on the other side instead of cutting into it. Yeah, I didn't have many, bro. I couldn't find it, so yeah. And I cut myself on that piece of plastic a minute ago. Let's see what I can do. Here we go. It wouldn't help on these, though, I'll be honest. I don't think it would. I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. That one's in there. Come on. <laughs> Never mess with all my with an issue. Never mess with an old man with an issue. Now give me a second. I'm just setting up to get over here where I want to go. We're going to fix this problem. This is fixing to be done. Stop right there. Hold on. Sorry about that crazy camera angle, but we're going to the table. And we're going to liberate it. We're going to liberate it.
not work. Put that not the rest of the way. Now we gotta get this one out. That's the next one. We gotta get it out of there. And what I'm gonna do is put another little slip right here on this end. You gonna see this end? moving guys these two corners right here, right there, I think that's where it's really holding the grip, the grip. So, yes, I can try to get this one over here. one of them guys, uh, them, them blacksmith guys like this next. Yeah, I do. This is cooperating about as much as that steel may be. Hey, it's moving. Look at that. How far that coming out? Whack it some more. I think that wasn't good in any We'll just need a couple more wacky dudes.
went into the guitar shop where I was working. Grab, 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 Superman, Kate. Looks like it's ready to make another one just about. Maybe we'll work on the scene right there. Here, at least off this part. 
and wait. The more I cut, thinner they get. Look at that, bro. There's a curved top. And there's a telly. And uh, I think I'm going to set the bandsaw up and finish trimming around the edge of them right quick. I don't know. Right the side. You know, that's the cool thing. You see the way I was beating on it with that dang hammer? You ain't gonna bend, you ain't gonna break your guitar. That's slick. Man. You like the finish? Check it out. I know it's different. And there's your sides. Back in right there. And the insides like that. I, I like it too. I like this finish better than that. Don't you? Would you, you know, I, I really like that finish better than that finish. So, yeah. 
I'm liking that a lot. I'm trying to decide how I want to cut these. Thank you. Yeah. Where you at, Hazard? What part of the world are you in? Geo, what's up, my brother? You in? Come to see me. I appreciate you. We just doing a little trim work now. Let me see if I can find something to trim with. Oh, what do I do? oh there it is. There we go. Geo, whoever else is out there, y'all ready? Ambrosia. In plastic. There's the inside. And she's tough. As a matter of fact, I think I could put it in the floor and stand on it. You dare me? Y'all should know better. And then, uh, Here's your Telecaster. Yep, there's your Telecaster. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them off here. We're going to cut them this way. Thank you, brother. Hey, I'm going to take them, set them, I'm going to cut them across this way now. And so they'll be about that thick, but I'm going to cut them off here flat. So we're going to cut a nice seam. Let me set up right quick. We'll take a second to set up for that. I got a plan. I always got a plan for something like this. Let me see if I can do I'm going to put a piece of wood in the back and so there'll be a piece of wood and this will cap onto that piece of wood and down into it so this seam right here the idea is to make a back put a seam around it and put it kind of in down into it like binding that's my thinking anyway so we're going to try to see if we can get these off right quick and get them flat. So let's see if I can get this thing to set up where it will work. I don't think I can get low enough right now. Let me see. Nope. Can't get that low. Uh, I've got to let this down just a smidge. Let me get it down where it goes and then I can... I'm going around the back the arm under this thing so I can lift it. Now, let's uh, take y'all to another camera so y'all can see a little more over there. There you go. There's that one. There's the work table. That's where we're going to cut. 
and uh, I don't know if I can put both cameras on. Let me see if I can get you both of them at one time and make it work better. How about that? That way you got both views, and this one here I can rotate around like that. Okay? So you got two views from two sides. Now, I'm going to drop this down. And let it go down in the table just a little bit through that hole. And that hole is too tight. Pin for the pin rod was hitting on the bolt a little bit long. Okay, let me see what I can do. Let's see what level we're at, guys. You see that? I believe I can work with that right there. That's good as I need. Okay, guys, I can get any more out of it. That's it. Okay, so if I go right there, I should be able to take it right off of there like I'm going to do. So let's just start on the back.
you too hard. I broke my wheel, guys. Put broke my wheel. Push it too hard. Snap the center. Right out of it there. Well, it ain't a real big problem. Where I laid the wrench, guys. Come on, Here, there it is. See? I can ask questions if you want to and talk. I can hear you. I can uh, I can see comment. I can hear your comments in my ear. So if you talk to me, I can talk back while I'm working. So y'all go right ahead if you got something you want to ask about, okay? Right now I'm trying to get this nut off this bolt I might got to put it up on the end. Threads are messed up real bad on that end where it's been running on the on the bottom. Yes, sir. Right behind me. Got a whole box of them. Well, I got about ten. Let's take it apart where I can get it in there. Put it in the side of the way. Threads are in bad shape on the end of that boat. That's the problem. Side of that wheel right there. Look at the smaller wheel. Okay. Yeah, I can use a Dremel or a, a router or about any, you, know, you can cut it with a lot of things. As a matter of fact, you can take a razor knife and cut it probably. Um, it'd do a, you know, do a job on it. But one of them's going to get surface mount to that smoke I think. So it's going to be a block of wood in it to hold it together, you know what I'm talking about.
Bill, how's your day going, brother? What you working on? Fixed. Now we gotta get our level back where we work. Let's see if we can get that fixed. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. That's cool, brother. I think that's just about right right there. Let's go for it. Let's go.
camera back over here. It was falling over. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh oh, that camera went off. Sorry about that too. Get it off of there. There it goes. I don't know what happened to it. It went off on me. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, guys, here we are. Uh, there's one of them. And there's the other one. So, yeah. That's the way they came out. So, yeah. There we go. We'll make some wood, put in the back of them, put a block in them, start to mount some stuff, put a neck in them, and then you will make guitar pretty quick. These ain't going to take forever like the base because I mean, it ain't like I'm putting paint on them, guys. Thank you, brother. Wait, you doubted me? Come on, brother. You know better than to doubt me. I always find a way. But what I like is it happened from the first try. You know, that always makes life better. When you can do something the first try, that makes your life a lot better. Uh, I feel better about it. <laughs> got a little deburrage over here, see this? Take the, take the burrs off the plastic here, where it made them burrs on it. Take them off with this. That's time for a new blade. Piece less, Paul. Yep. One piece less ball than vintage sunburst. With a tilt neck, stock tail tray, tail piece, and the whole deal. One piece. And I haven't decided if I'm going to go in the back of it and put the neck and put the truss rod in or put a fretboard on it yet. I'm still trying to decide. Uh, I, may do, I may, do the, may do the fretboard on this one. I ain't decided yet. I got a handful of fretboards in there waiting to be used, so I might as well use them on something. I bought fretboards to do a base. I got a big old long base fretboard in there and ain't got nothing to put it on. Let's pull the burrs off of here. <laughs> you gonna make a single cut? There you go. I just figured I want to do something that's funky different, you know, and I've been funky different all my life, so why not just do it? And if I didn't want to sell gold prospecting equipment, I don't think I could do much better advertisement of my ability to make parts than this, do you? So, uh, that's got to get cut out when it's time. I just don't want to trim it until I'm ready to do it. Most of the burrs are off. Now to get it to get it perfectly flat on the bottom edge, I'll start up my my sander over there. Okay, on this one, it's like this, and it will be. You'll have to cut all this out for the neck to go in for it to be down here. So you'll probably have to trim right around this edge right here. You see that? To that one, for that one to fit around like, you know, we want it to around the neck. So that's going to probably be trimmed right in that inside edge. And then this will be off here, and this will be off here most likely there. That's the way that one will be done. And then on the telly, I made it solid. So we can bring it around, bring it around, and then we can bring the neck back, and we can bring the block of wood in, set the neck back, cut out as much as we need to to get the neck set on top and set in there if that makes sense to you, brother. 
I hope it does. Uh, it didn't matter what it done when I molded them here on this end because I wasn't going to be using it for anything because that's where the wood's going to be. So, yeah. And the whole idea is we're going to put a slab of wood and put it down into that wood with just a little edge. I think you're right. Yeah, I believe you're right, Gio. Telly's going to probably be the easier one to do. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on both of them. I'm just going to... I kind of started these two at one time, and I decided what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry through and finish them both together. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make two backs. Then I'm going to make some blocks to put inside of them at the right level for everything to stick to for the bridge and, and that kind of stuff. And then I'll do that one, and then when I get to that point, I'll make two necks, and then I'll move on. You know, so... And then once I get the necks made, I'll do my neck pockets, you know, and cut them in like I want. So I think that's the plan. And then I'll fire up the big six-inch wide sander over there and get these bottom edges just perfectly flat. And then we'll cut that piece of wood and just put that little edge on it and just drop this down into it and just have a little bitty wood right there on the outside edge around it. Something like that. I hadn't decided yet. Maybe you got a better idea than me, maybe, brother, so I'll take it. I'll be glad to listen to it. I promise you that. So... But yeah, we're just uh, doing what we do and having fun, guys. I mean, you only live once, and if you're going to do something, you know, to please somebody, please your damn self first, and then help somebody second, okay? I mean, that's, that's, my, that's my way. Please yourself, but help somebody. And uh, yeah, we're almost there, buddy. I got to, I guess I could say, I accomplished something on the night shift today. One, one, Telly McCaster, no, Plasticaster. That's what I'm thinking. This would be the front. This is the front of this one, maybe. I uh, hadn't decided, but um, yeah, this is the front. Because otherwise, it'd be a left-handed guitar going that way, and be, uh, it wouldn't work. Yeah, this is the front. So this one goes this way, it's a front. So right hand player front. And then this carved top, definitely, you know, that'd be the front. You know, so and those match up to the carved top matches up to my ambrosia hanging up on the wall. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I had in my mind when I done it was make the plastic top and then I'm gonna put the wood back because I need a piece of wood in the back to mount all my pickups and my bridge and everything, too, to give me some strength. And I thought them Ovation people made them guitars when they round back. And you can't play them because they roll off your belly when you round like me. So, you know, a round up, round belly guitar like an Ovation would not be any good. So I'm going to go flat. And they ought to ride a little better on me, okay? So, yeah. But, yeah, that's the idea, guys. One crazy set of... Guitar is coming out of the thermoforming machine out of Spike's old trick tonight, you know, so, hey, you get what you get, don't throw a fit, and there, there's a, and there's the insides of it, we got enough room in there, we could put a wah wah pedal, and a boost pedal, thank you brother, Frank, thank you, hey, thank you guys, I just been doing what I do and having fun tonight. So, uh, yeah, it was hot in here, and I'm I'm glad I waited till this late at night to do it. Cause during the day I'd have died. I mean, it was so hot here and during the day today. I come in and check the temperature. I shot the temperature gauge right here on the old shot smith, and it was 97.5 degrees that that metal it got up to was sitting in his shop during the day, and then I shot it up to the ceiling up there, and it read 130. And then I shot the roof, and it went 160. So, yeah. There ain't nothing you can do out here in this part of the shop right now. I got the door down here. The garage door open about 18 inches. And a little box fan sitting over there blowing cool air in the door at me. And I hope it hasn't been too much noise for you or too, you know, bothered you too bad. So. Yeah, but you got that metric temperature. It's different, right? It is. Well, 
like I say, it, 97.5 Fahrenheit was hot. And uh, these, you got to cook them up to 265. So when you're that hot in the building and you turn on the toaster, as you called it there, uh, Hazard. Yeah, I know. 35 degrees. So you got them crazy metric numbers. As, as you tell me, what's that in real? What's that in real money? Man, I'm rejoicing in my coat now because I had a good time. I enjoyed this. If uh, when I when I had them first two parts to pull and suck down like they were supposed to, I was over here jumping up and down like a fool. Hey, Hazard, I was jumping up and down like a crazy man when that part made, wasn't I? When it sucked it down on me, I got up and danced. Oh, man. This coke is real good. I ain't nothing brown. I didn't. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming it all, brother. Uh, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch every, probably every day now. I'm an old man that gets excited about what he's doing and enjoys what he's doing, brother. So, yeah, come see me anytime. I'm, I'm glad to have you here, brother. I really am. I don't know if you gave me your name or not. I, if I did, I missed it. So, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I know Gio's Torinelli there. That's my buddy in Italy. And uh, I told him, I'm going to go on in the morning. When you get up, have your breakfast, and then come on and see me. So, I guess it works out for him. And then he's got to go work on his stuff. He's got a bunch of guitars building, so... Here's the deal, Gio. I just shot all that footage tonight. I can go back to all that footage and take anything out of it I want. Capture it, use it, make a video. So now, I can do the video here and not have to worry about editing and do all that while I'm doing it. Just move a camera every now and then. And, you know, most time you'll be working in one place, you know, like a fret job. So you just stay on it. Maybe have two cameras going, you know, get two angles or something. And then... When you got that, you can take that footage and edit it and make anything you want in a, in a video for the cube. And uh, that's going to be a, a powerful thing, I think, because, you know, I can go through and take a little of the sanding, a little of this, a little of how I cut this off, and, you know, every little bit of it and throw together a video that's going to be moved pretty quick and probably might work. And uh, it'll definitely have to have a voiceover, which I've never done. So maybe I'm tired Todd to come do me a voiceover. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> it would be nice, though, wouldn't it? But yeah, I'm just, that's what I think. I mean, I enjoy it. And, Gio, what you're going to find, first of all, is go through and see the people that I'm following and try to catch them all and get on all of those if you can, because they're mostly guitar builders. And what you're going to find out is the people are just good people. Actually, they won't, I mean, and the longer your stream goes, the more chance you have of building some people on that stream, you know, because when you're, when you're small and you're nobody like us or me, you know, I mean, I've got five subscribers, so of the people that I follow right now, I'm at the top of the list, you know, and they're offline, all of them. It is. That's the point. I mean, uh, Hank's got a great Discord group. And the Discord group he does is one that invited me in right away. And when I come in, all the builders are just so cool. The guy in Australia, the Guitar Show Australia, is a great guy. Um, he's been cool. Uh, Orbiter. Uh, just meeting a lot of new folks in the guitar thing. And the thing is, Geo, there's not 500,000 guitar builders over here. There's a, I mean, I'm thinking maybe in all, they might be 20 or 30. I don't know how many. Uh, Hazard, what do you think? I mean, how many actual guitar builders are over here on this channel? Do you know? Or on Twitch? I don't know. Uh, we're all kind of in the makers category, I believe. But some of them post in the chatting thing, I think, sometimes. But, yeah, I'm going to stay where I'm at. I like this. So. But I just like the people. Uh, the one thing I noticed is a big YouTuber will never reach down and give you a hand. Never reach down and help you up. But... Uh, There you go. 
You see what I mean? I mean, there's not that many, Jeff. And I'm in here early as I can be because I just found out about it from Jaybird. And he told me about it. So I brought my wild hair and come on in here tonight because it was too hot for the hat. That's for sure. So, yeah, I just figured I'd check it out. And I'm liking the people. I'm liking the communication. I like communicating with them. Uh, I got a program in my thing here that when you put a comment on the screen, I hear it here. So I don't have to look at the screen to hear you say something like a dozen or two or whatever. It comes right in my ear. So it makes life a lot simpler, you know, than trying to look for it. There you go, brother. Play that thing. You played it. You get me a place to sit. Guys, I've been on my feet for hours around here. I need some time for a minute. I need to just pull back my little chair here and set my butt down for a second and relax. Uh, but yeah, um, Geo, uh, Sure, brother. I'll, I'll help you out whatever I can. I mean, I don't know that much about it yet. Uh, there's a lot to learn. Uh, the best software to do this with is Streamlabs OBS is what I found. And you can move the cameras, you can crop the pictures, you can do all kind of stuff. So maybe watch a video if you get a chance on Streamlabs OBS. And then also watch one on Twitch about how to use Twitch and how to do it. And that'll help you a lot to get you started. And then uh, from there, I mean, I'll give you anything I got to help you, brother. Cause, but that'll give you a, a real good grasp of where you start on it. And just go back and watch, the, watch some of the old YouTubes that tell you that stuff. There's a couple people there that'll give you some good info. And, you know, we're not going to be the best at it when we start, brother. We're going to get in here and do our best. And so, you know, uh, I'm liking the people, like I say, and I'm liking the community. And it's not a huge community, so, you know, you don't have to be... The little fish in a great big old pond, you can be a medium-sized fish in a medium-sized pond with everybody else. And when you're a medium-sized fish in a medium-sized pond, you know what don't happen? You don't get eaten by the big fish. Think about that a minute. Yeah, that's what happens. You get eaten by the big fish, right, exactly. So, yeah. And when you get help from people, you take it and you're glad to have it. Um, Geo, it's the most positive bunch of people I've been around in a long time, brother. It really is. And um, I'm liking the way they just all are together. And if they ever do a raid on you, it ain't a bad thing, okay? It's a good thing. So if somebody wants to raid me anytime, I'm going to be glad to have it. Because they don't tell you how many people might show up in this room if that happens, you know. So somebody close down their stream and get ready to cut off and say, well, hey, let's go raid Spike. And so if you make friends, that's how you get raided because your friends will come see you. First of all, they got to be following you or they ain't going to come to you. And second of all, they got to like you enough to want to see what you're doing. And, you know, if you got good stuff putting out for them, that's what will get them at. You know, so to me, I think that's the secret to getting all of them here is just give them a little entertainment. You know, and like me, I'm entertaining all the time. It's crazy. So, you know that, Geo, don't you? You've always known that, brother. But, you know, if I go to bed, heck, I might be... I might not get up till you go go to bed at your place again. I'm on that crazy schedule now, you know. Uh, I'll probably go in and go to bed. I'll get up about by lunchtime probably because it's, it's four now. That'll be more hours of sleep than I normally get. <laughs> That'll be, hey, if I if I go, uh, go in and go to bed now, I'll be asleep by five maybe. I'll sleep at 12. That's seven hours. That's more sleep than I ever get. So, yeah. I'll probably be up by about noon. That'll put me about seven your time, brother. So, yeah, I'll do that. And then, uh, that's what I'm going to do, brother. Uh, it works better for me out here. I mean, in the guitar shop, I got air conditioning. I can live in there. But when it comes to working out here in the wood shop, you just can't deal in the summer in South Carolina, brother. It's just too much. The humidity is out the sky, you know, so. Yeah, um, I don't know. Let me show y'all something. You need a kick out of it. I don't know if this camera's even running. It might have cut off. Let me see. It says it's on. It 
Joe gone. Let's go see. Let me see if that camera's on or off. There it is. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all check out the mobile broadcast studio. There's my light, and there's a camera. There's a microphone. There's the monitor. There's the laptop. There's the speakers. Oh, and uh, it's all on. It's all on a hospital cart. It's all on a hospital cart that you just let down and low and just roll it back in the office and put it back in the room. So, yeah, that's my little project that I come up with to do that with. So, yeah, it's... Well, Gio, I had all this hooked up before in the room, but it was like this was over here and that was over there and... You know, there's an overhead camera over the workbench in there and all that stuff. And, you know, I just kind of get it all set up and figure out what goes where, you know. So we'll get it figured out. But, yeah, y'all see the door. and I got the big door open at the bottom, letting the cool air in. And my little hospital cart's holding it up. And if I want to sit down, I lower it, raise it up where I want to be. And it's it's handy. It works for me. So. And all you can do is get what works for you guys. So. But yeah, there's a little back view of the, mo of the mobile camera set up. So. And there's all my junk on the shelves up there. I got a mess. What's cool about this is you can do this and move stuff. That's what you can do with that camera. So that's Geo. OBS does a lot of that. And something cool that it does is I think my battery died in my phone. But from this phone, I can control this software. And I can change the scene like from, from that scene to a broadcast scene, to a shop cam, to a work table. And I can do all of that off of that cell phone, just doing this, turn the microphone on and off, uh, the whole yon yards. And Geo, if you're gonna record the video and use it to make your, if you're gonna record it to use to make your videos, you don't really care how many people watch anyway if you're going to get the, the, the footage to use. But the thing is, if you get 50 followers and average five people on a stream, you get to move up a level in this deal. And you move up fast if it works, okay? So that's what I'm hoping to do is just make that, get this, get a little something moving on it. And the good thing is when people come in here, they go see that YouTube button up there on the corner of my thing, and they hit that, and they can go get on YouTube and give me one of those. And I picked up about five or six subs off of here from Twitch to my YouTube this week. So that's the other good thing is it's good for cross-promoting, as they call it. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's a different way, and it's a little different, but I'm enjoying it. And, you know, I got all this ADHD energy inside of me that's got to get out somewhere. And instead of putting 260 videos or 230 videos on YouTube in a year or 18 months, maybe I should back that down to about two a week of those and then just do a lot of these and use this to make those. So, well, your, well, Geo, I'm going to tell you, buddy, your camera. Your camera work and you, you, your picture quality and your videos is pretty darn good. So I don't think it's holding you back. I really don't. But, uh, yeah, I got to tell you this. Uh, I watched uh, Brett's video again today. He showed it to my wife when I went in the house. Because I told her, I said, you got to see what Brett did. You just got to see this. And so I showed it. Oh, always, bro. I'm always trying that. I'm, I'm always trying a smart way. Uh, I invent my own stuff. I mean, I made that. And I made that way to cut that with that stupid wheel on there. I mean, that ain't no factory. That ain't a factory option for a cutter, you know. That's my idea. And I use that to cut gold prospect equipment out because I do it the same way. So. You just, I was standing there looking at it, and I said, oh, I know how to cut it. And it just hit me all at one time. So. I jumped on it and done it. So. Guys, it's Probably time for me to four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock now. I've been on three hours. 
Uh, two hours, 58 minutes. I was late getting home because I had to re-sign again. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was fun. I had to do a lot of preparation to get the machine ready and get the mold ready. And then it took me about as long to get it out of the mold as it did anything. I mean, that was the worst. I beat and wrestled and banged, and but it finally came out of there, that's for sure. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see what happens. I mean, is it a marketable idea to sell to somebody? Probably not. Is it something that I'm doing because I want to do it? Yeah. Is it something that I might do again? We never know. Might if it turns out. But maybe I'll just do these two and hang them up on the wall and be done with them and do something else. Like that one piece left off with the vintage sunburst. That's coming. Somebody, somebody posted on here earlier about a router overrated. And no. Me and a router are going to make a one piece less pole like we made that one piece base. Is what we're going to do together. You know that. You've seen the way I've done it. I just took my time. Somebody asked me, uh, Hazard, somebody asked me how I was going to make that base. And I said, I'm going to take away everything that don't look like a base. And then he said, well, that's going to take a little while, ain't it? And I said, well, you do it kind of like eating an elephant. And he said, what you mean by that? I said, one bite at a time. So that's what we did, one bite at a time. Oh, thank you, brother. It's, it's, it's really nice now. I got the action down so low on it. I mean, it plays like butter. Uh, and I'm not a bass player. But I'm going to take it over to Eric and let him play it out. And uh, he's got 300,000 subs. Hey, he's got 300,000 subs, and he's going to demo my bass. And I'm going to tell him to put it on his channel this time instead of mine. And uh, then put me on the little link over to the side where people can come see how I built it. But I want him to put it on his channel so we can get the full value of this building. Because Eric, the funk guitar guru, is bad news when it plays it plays the tunes, brother. And uh, I'm just looking forward to taking it over there to him. So I should probably do that this week. You know, go ahead and call him up and just tell him it's ready. I'm coming over and bringing it. And one evening go over there and let him do it. So. Well, he's he's a nice guy, and he he was he played a lot of the music in my last GGBO. If it sounded like funk, it was him playing it, and if it sounded like chicken picking, as they call it in country music, that was Ronald Radford used to be play for Randy Travis. And if it sounded like blues with a lot of slide in it, oh, well, that was my buddy uh, Darren, that's gonna come over here and record a whole bunch of music for me. So. He's coming over. We're going to sit down and record some fast music, some slow music, some sanding music, some drawing music, some band sewing music, some, some, yeah, you understand. A lot of variations of music to use for different things. And guess what? I'll never get a copyright strike because it's all original. And that's what you want. So there'll be background music in these videos real soon. I just got to get that all programmed and figured out and done. And, uh, you know, it's the next thing on the list. So, uh, yeah. So I've done a one hour or a two hour. Yesterday was two, two of them. One of them was 30 minutes or 35, and then I got cut off, and then I went 45 more. So yeah, it was a little hour and 40, 30 minutes, 20 minutes or whatever. And the night I made three hours. And I had six people in here, which is the most I've ever had. And I want everybody that came to know I appreciate it, and I'm going to go back through and find their names and make sure I follow all of them before I close this thing out tonight. So, hey, guys. It's probably time for me to boogie on in the house and relax and chill out. Um, I think I'm going to go in and watch a little bit of news. Just see what they're saying about all that stuff and our politics over here. Cause it's crazy. And just see what the news was about it. And uh, see what their opinions are, you know. I watched a few minutes of it last night, but I took a nap. So I wasn't, I wasn't into it. But now I watch some news people tell me what was really there. So, guys, y'all have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Hey, you too, brother. Hey, Geo, Geo, figure on, hear from me about, uh, hey, thank you, brother. Hey, Geo, I'll probably be, uh, I'll hook up in Mr. Bush Stream Yard and talk about, uh, say, 7 o'clock or so. I should be up around noon, and that'll be working out good. I can come out and shop, and we can do that. And we can just sit and talk, talk a minute, and I can help you with that. And, just do those things I told you and do a little research and that'll help you a lot and you'll have a lot of better idea. And uh, 
Yeah, I'll start putting stuff up and moving it back so I can head to the house. Sounds good, brother. Y'all be good. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, thank you all for coming in. I enjoyed making craziness, you know. I mean, if you're going to do something, do crazy all the way out. You know, if you're going to be crazy, do crazy right. So, yeah, I guess I need Instagram pictures for that now, don't I? Yeah. Y'all be good. Stay out of trouble. We'll see you on the next one. And, uh, hey, ain't nothing you can do but love your brother and take it easy. See you, buddy.